mRNA technology was crucial in developing the Moderna and Pfizer-BioNTech coronavirus vaccines. Hungarian-American scientist Katalin Kariko and her American colleague Drew Weissman began working on mRNA technology in the early 1990s at the University of Pennsylvania. The Nobel Prize Committee in Sweden said the discovery had helped defeat one of the greatest threats to human health in modern times. mRNA vaccines, together with other COVID-19 vaccines, have been administered over 13 billion times. Together they have saved millions of lives, prevented severe COVID-19, reduced the overall disease burden and enabled societies to open up again. mRNA, or messenger RNA, instructs cells to make proteins that match those found on the surface of pathogens like the coronavirus. The body sees these as invaders and makes antibodies and T-cells to attack them, thus training it to deal with a real virus in the future. In 2005, Carrico and Weissman worked out a way to stop the immune system from attacking RNA made in the laboratory, previously seen as a major hurdle against its use. Carrico said Monday they made a good team. I was the RNA person and do as an immunologist, and we educated each other. And uh, together, you know, we learned each other and developed um, uh, mRNA. Weissman said the future potential for mRNA was incredible. We've been thinking for years about everything that we could do with RNA, and now it's here. The coronavirus pandemic accelerated the development of mRNA technology, says scientist Paul Hunter. Prior to COVID, you know, people knew that work was being done on mRNA vaccines, but I don't think we were ever close to getting real-world use of the technology. Now that it's been shown to work, to work, probably better than many, if not most, other vaccine types, uh, I think is, is a big boost to it. And, and it's, there are a substantial number of potential uses of this technology. It's hoped mRNA technology could one day be used to fight cancer. Vaccines that are targeted towards specific kinds of tumours, maybe even to specific individuals of personalised cancers. Carico and Weissman share the prize of $1 million and will receive their medals at a ceremony in Stockholm later this year. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News, London.